Are you in the process of creating your own WordPress website, but it's taking a bit longer than you would like? Well, today's tutorial is just for you. Hi, I'm Nicola Tweed and welcome to my YouTube channel where I share WordPress website and WooCommerce tutorials every Thursday. If that sounds like something that you want more of, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so the design and the development of your website is taking a little bit longer than you would like. So what's the plan here? Well, the plan is, and a great idea is to create a quick coming soon page that gets your customers and your browsers interested in your new website. Okay, so let's dive into this tutorial guide where I'm going to show you how to create your very own quick coming soon page on your WordPress website. Okay, so let's dive into this tutorial guide where I'm going to show you how to create a simple coming soon page on your WordPress website. So what you will need is you will need to have WordPress already installed on your domain. And then we're going to use some free plugins to achieve this um, coming soon page. So first we're going to use the WordPress page builder Beaver Builder and they do have a free plugin. Then we're going to use the full width templates plugin. And if you want to add some simple um, social icons, you can use this um, plugin from StudioPress. So let's go ahead and we're going to install these page builder plugin and the full width plugin. So we're gonna click add new in our plugins. We're going to type in Beaver Builder. And we're going to click install and then we are going to activate this plugin. Okay, we're just going to be using the free one for now, so we don't have to be don't have to worry about anything on this page. I'm going to go back to plugins and going to add the full width templates and the simple social icons. So type in full width templates. Click install and activate. Okay, so this plugin here, this full width templates, it just makes sure that the images and the text can span from the left side to the right side. And we can also take away the header and the footer because we kind of want to start on a blank page. So let's go ahead and add the simple social icons. Okay, if you don't want some, uh, you don't want social icons on your coming soon page, then you don't need to worry about adding in this plugin. But I think it's a really good idea to add in your social media icons just to get people interested in what is to come. Okay, so now we've added the plugins that we need. What we're going to do is we're going to come to pages here on the left hand side and we're going to click add new and we are going to create a page called coming soon. So we'll add in this title, so we'll call it coming soon and we will click publish, publish. There we go. Okay, we're going to click this cross button here and what we need to do is just have a look at our page attributes and we need to make sure it's full width with no header and footer. So that will make sure we are starting off with a blank page. Once we've chosen that, we can click update again and we can view the page. And when we view the page, we can see now it's just a blank page. Okay, so we, now we need to come to our dashboard. We come to our settings here, come to reading, and we want to make sure that our home page is the coming soon page so that people are seeing that when they land on the page. So we click save changes. And now when we go to our home page, we can visit our site here. That's a coming soon page. Okay, so the next step that we need to go through is we need to make sure we add a little bit of coding 
to our website to make sure that the only page that people can see is the coming soon page. We don't want them to be going to any other links on our website. So we need to add a bit of custom coding to our functions.php file. Okay, so this is a really simple process. What we're going to do is we're going to use this custom coding um, from GitHub and I will make sure I pop the link below here. We'll click copy on this and we're going to come back to our website, come to our dashboard, and we're going to come to appearance here on the left hand side, theme editor, and just click understand here. And then we're going to look for this theme functions file. And every theme that is installed um, has a functions file. So we're going to come right down to the bottom, give it some space, and we're going to pop that in there and we're going to click update file. Now, one thing to note, is that you need to make sure that you have named your uh, coming soon page coming soon and that the URL is coming dash soon. So if you've done everything that I did before, then it will work perfectly. Okay, so now we have set up our coming soon page, we can actually go in and we can start designing our custom page. Okay, so let's navigate to this com coming soon page. We'll click on Beaver Builder here. And if you've never used Beaver Builder before, then it is such an awesome tool. I use it for all my clients' websites. It's a drag and drop tool and it makes life so easy. Okay, but this specific Beaver Builder that we have installed is the free one. It gives you only a few options. So you can add photos, headings, buttons, text, etc. So let's say, for example, we wanted to create a nice background image here. Um, so what we're going to do is just hover over, we're going to click on this plus icon, we're going to come to rows, we're going to add one column in here, and as you can see, it's only going to th this sort of narrow section of the page, we'll click on settings here, we're going to make it the full width, and we're going to add a background here. So we scroll all the way down, we're looking for background, there are different types of backgrounds you can add, you can add a photo, a video, etc. So let's add a photo. And we can either add it from our media library or an external source. So we're going to select a file and that will then open our desktop. So we can choose any photo we have on our desktop. And I'm just going to look for anything that I have kind of on my desktop that we can use that has been resized already. Um, I'm just going to use this one. It's been resized already. It's not going to look so great. So actually, I might actually do something a bit different, but let me just select that file anyway. Okay, I'm not going to select the photo yet. I'm going to kiss cancel here because what I want is I actually want to make this a full width. Okay, and I want to add in two rows here. I actually want these columns to go all the way across. So I go full width, full width again, okay? And then what I wanna do is that photo I've just uploaded, I want to make that the background column, okay? So I'll come down here, background, photo in my column. I'm gonna look for this photo, there it is. Great, okay, problem, not looking so great. So we'll come to the minimum height and let's make that a really nice height there. That's great. And we make sure these heights are the same because we're going to put some text in. And there's one thing that I'm not loving is, let's just make this height a little bit smaller. There we go. Oh, we can't seem to get this now. There we go. I just want to make this height the full height. Okay. And I want this to have no padding around. So there's no space. Okay. Let's make this a full height. There we go. And then we can start to add some text. So let's pop in our heading. Our website is on the way. And we can start to style it by going to the style tab we can center the text we can choose from a whole bunch of fonts whatever we want here go we can change sizing we can change the weight it's a bit thick there we go okay that's looking much better 
Okay, and let's just pop that column settings. We want to make sure that's in the center. Okay, let me show you now how to add some social media icons. So we come here, let's do that, the plus. We click on the search button, we type in social simple icons, we drag and we drop it here. And then what we do is we pop in our links here. So let's just pop in link here, link here. And as you can see, the links are popping up. Okay, then we can start to style them. So let's put them in the center. We make sure the links open a new window and then the colors are here. So we can pop in our hex codes here. Whatever your hex codes are, you pop them in there and you can click save. So there we go. That's how you make a simple coming soon page. Um, you click done and you click publish once you are there. And there is your website, your simple coming soon page is up um, if you want to you can click on your column settings and there's a little desktop icon here you can flick through that that shows you what it's looking like on a ipad so we can make that a bit smaller like that and we can flick again and that's what it's looking like on your phone if we want we can reverse this so that's like that and click save, click exit, and that's going to go back to your desktop. So it's just a case of playing around with your Beaver Builder tools and adding in anything that you want to. If you like this video, then be sure to subscribe to my channel or check out the other WordPress website and WooCommerce tutorial guides that I have available. There's lots more there and there are so many more on their way to you very soon.